Uh, he had pancreatic cancer. He was diagnosed in February of 2018 and passed away in June of the same year. From late March to late May, he was still really lucid. So I asked him what something that he wished he could have done and he never got to. And he told me that he wished he could have been an astronaut. So he thought about it and he was like, actually, never mind. I'm going to get to do that now. So my dad worked at NASA as long as I can remember. When I was a kid, uh, that was a really big part of my life. I remember back when I was in kindergarten, we had a day where we dressed up as what we thought we would be in 20 or 25 years. And I dressed up as a NASA engineer. I had a little clipboard with uh, stickers from different space missions that my dad had given me. He, uh, he worked a lot with the, the International Space Station. He put a rack called the Fluids and Combustion Rack up there, he and his team did. So I got to um, send commands to that from Earth one time. The one time we gave an astronaut a tour of the research center where he worked up in Ohio. I got this tattoo right here um, after he died. Uh, they took his ashes, since they're just carbon, they can mix them with black tattoo ink. And so all of the outlines on this astronaut tattoo have my dad's ashes in them. Uh, that was inspired by that conversation and him saying that he finally gets to be an astronaut. I just wanted to commemorate him in some way. I have this one as well, the we are so proud to call you our son, love dad. It's from a Christmas card. It doesn't have, that one doesn't have his ashes in it, but I like that they're right next to each other. It's like fulfilling a wish that he had, even though it's not in the way that we expected it to. It's still, we're actually getting to do that for him. So I'm just really glad that this opportunity exists.